Hello everyone. So uh, after learning a lot of data science topics, always an important question comes into picture, how to practice it. Okay, so how to practice it? Uh, for practicing, you will be needing some data sets, right? So then again, one question will come, how to get the data sets? So the answer is there are so many inbuilt libraries available in Python from where you can get the inbuilt data sets. Okay, so in this particular video, we'll see some inbuilt libraries to get the inbuilt data sets for the practice purpose in the Python. Okay, so first of all, most important library is the sklearn. Okay, so in sklearn library, some inbuilt data sets are there. So you have to write from sklearn import data sets. Okay, so after importing data sets, to get the list of all the data sets, you have to write DIR and data sets. So this is the list of all the data sets that are available in sklearn library. Okay, so if you want to load a particular data set, you have to write from sklearn.dataset import name of that particular data set. So for example, in this particular point, we are loading the iris data set. So we are taking the, uh, we are writing import load underscore iris. Okay, so you can create a data frame for that and give the name, give the feature names to it. Okay, so for getting the target column, Okay, for getting the target column, you have to add uh, add the iris.target from the same uh, sklearn library. Okay, so in this way, you can get a particular data set from sklearn library. Okay, so these are the list, whatever data set you want, you can take it. Just open the data set, okay, try to understand which particular domain it is, what is the target variable, what are the independent variables, okay, and which algorithms you have to apply. Do the domain analysis, do the data analysis part, and then you can apply the model part. Okay, so next way to get the uh, inbuilt data is using the Vega data sets. For that, you have to install Vega data sets. After installing, you have to write from um, uh, Vega data sets. You have to import data. And when you will write data dot list underscore data sets, you will get the list of all the data sets that are available in this particular library. Okay. So for example, again, I want to take the iris data set. So you have to write the name of the data frame, uh, data dot iris. So this data set you will get. Okay. Next library to get the data set is the Seaborn. So in Seaborn package, first you have to import Seaborn. Then uh, after getting, uh, after importing the Seaborn package, we have to write get underscore data set underscore names. So this will give the names of all the inbuilt uh, data sets that are available under Seaborn package. So if you want to load the Iris data set again, so you have to write sns.load underscore data set and in bracket name of that particular data set. So here we are taking Iris data set. So we are writing Iris here. Okay. Then next library is the Keras. So in Keras, you can write from TensorFlow import Keras, then the Keras.data set. So here when you will uh, press tab, you will get all the data sets. Few data sets are available inside Keras. Okay. So what, what, whichever data set you want, for example, you want a CIFAR 10 data set, you have to write from Keras.data set, import CIFAR 10. Okay. Then you have to create a data frame, CIFAR.load data set. You will get the uh, uh, CIFAR 10 data set from Keras. Right. So it's an image data set. Okay. Then next library is the Pi data set. For that, you have to install Pi data set. After installing the library, you have to write from Pi data set import data. Okay. So now for this data, we are creating a data frame. So when you will write d dot had, you will get top five data frames. Uh, you can say data sets that are available in this library. And you will write d dot tail. You will get the last five data sets that are available in this library. So okay. From, for example, uh, from this particular package uh, library, you want to download the or you want to use the Titanic data set. So you have to create a data frame. You have to write data and name of the particular uh, data set. So for example, you want your Titanic. So write data Titanic. So you will get the Titanic data set. 
So these are the few ways to get the inbuilt data set. So take any inbuilt data set of your choice and practice well. All the best. Bye-bye.